So before I start this video, it's saying like 90% uh, of people that watch my videos only subscribed. So if that's you, could you just give me a wee subscribe? Really helps me out. It's free, takes two seconds. Would be very much appreciated. So thanks. Enjoy the video. So this one's about Lou, the, the, the Celtic god of war, and uh, he's basically, like, if you read his description and stuff and, and that, he kind of, re he'll remind you, like, Zeus or Thor. I mean, like, Thor had his hammer with the lightning bolts, and, and Zeus just, like, threw lightning bolts. And uh, with Lou, he, uh, he's had, like, a spear that shot lightning bolts. So they're all pretty like similar, but Lou eh, obviously interests me because he's like the, the Celtic god of war. So he's like related to like Scotland and Ireland, especially, but I think probably like maybe all the Celtic nations like Scotland, Ireland, Wales, like Cornwall and England and Brittany and France and eh, even the bit of uh, is it the Basque region in northern Spain? They're all the kind of Celtic nations. So, but for me, it's, it's really interesting uh, because of the stories. Like there's there was stuff I'd seen like years ago about them, and it's it relates to like another topic that uh, uh, fascinates me. Like there's there's ancient kind of I don't know like they're really really old, so I don't know exactly like. But they're like they're called brocks, so I, d I don't know if you've ever heard of like a Scottish brock before. But a brock is basically it's like a stone kind of fort, like a stone tower. So that's like a, a like <clears throat> if you've ever seen the, the thing on is it Orkney or Shetland where the the waves had came in and washed a bit of the the coast away and they found that settlement and it's like dry stones. So it's like a dry stone construction. It's just all like flat dry stones all stacked on top of each other. That's like what the brocks are like, but they're, they're kind of circular in shape, like a tower. And uh, the walls are kind of hollow inside because they've got like a staircase running. So it's like a double wall structure. And it's got a, like uh, a staircase, like a spiral staircase running up that. It goes to the top. And then obviously they've got stuff in the middle as well. So it was like a, basically like a fortified kind of home, I suppose, like a tower home, almost like a castle, to be fair, like a castle tower. Uh, so they're really quite interesting. There's quite a few of them about Scotland. Now, I'm pretty sure like Scotland's the only place in the world that has these kind of structures. Because uh, like when I heard about them and that and stuff, that they, kind of, they sounded really interesting. So I'd, I'd like to go and visit like them, like they're just ruins now, kind of thing, but, and then when I heard like the stuff, the stories about Lou, the God of War and stuff, and that this is where they connect, because it's really quite intriguing, so, like the, the mythology is that, eh, like the, there was like battles and wars going on, and Lou was using his spear, shooting lightning bolts, like when he was attacking the other brocks or whatever, so he's like, he's <clears throat> been shooting the lightning bolts and all that. And you could look at that as just like stories and mythology. But with some of these brocks, the stone on them is like vitrified. So what that means is like it's been heated up that much that the stone's melted and kind of turned to like like glass kind of thing. Uh, and it's really quite, it's quite strange because how, what could... Because it's obviously happened after they were built, because like because of the like the shape of it, like the mark where it's been melted. It's no, it's not like they were melted before and they were put together. Like you can see that it's been melted once they were once it was built. And then when you tie that into the stories of Lou, 
like the God of War, the Celtic God of War, shooting lightning bolts out of spear and all that at them. It does kind of, again, it's really quite intriguing to me. And like, because how else, like this is a way back in like the, I don't know, like the Bronze Age or something like that. Again, it was still like a long, long time ago. So like, or maybe even the Stone Age or something, I'm not too sure, but uh, like how else would, would what else could they have done that would they melted the stone of these like stone walled structures? Like what else could they have had that would they melted them? Like at really high temperatures in specific areas? It seems a bit, I don't know, a bit perplexing kind of thing, a bit strange. And then when you add in the story of Lou, and that is the story, like he was attacking these kind of structures and stuff. So it does all seem a bit, like, again, like a bit strange and like it's obviously tied together. Uh, and even like further afield, like there's lots of stories in Ireland, they, like the gods and that, the... I can never say this name right, the Tuatha Dadanan or the as uh, the Tuatha Dadanan and stuff and like they were all meant to be gods and flying about and there's lots of stuff about them as well, they're really interesting. I might be make a video about them because it's <coughs> it's all basically tied in. I, I can't remember off the top of my head the flu was one of them. Like the, these kind of god people in Ireland. Well well it's although it's like, mostly Ireland, it's like the Celtic kind of nations. But for me, again, I just found that story of Lou and the, the Brocks in Scotland and the, the, the melted stone all quite interesting. So I thought I'd make a video about it and it's one I'm actually going to go and see because like they're, they're obviously in Scotland. So I've probably drove past them hundreds of times on my travels kind of thing and just never realised. But like I think there's still like a few. I think most are kind of mostly ruined, but I think there's like one, at least one that's kind of still half standing. I think. Uh, so for me, it'd be really quite interesting to actually go and see this, because I've only seen like it on videos and stuff. So for me, it'd be really interesting to actually go and physically see it and see this melted stone, and for myself before like again you can make because if if I can do that, I like doing that because. It's the best way of making up your mind about things. And obviously it probably will interest me a lot more because I've actually physically seen it kind of thing. But it does seem strange that there's a, a story about a Celtic god of war shooting lightning bolts at these structures. And then for the reports are for these videos and stuff that I've seen that these structures, the stones actually melted. So I do find that just highly strange and really interesting just for the time when like the time this is all supposed to happen because i'm not even sure and <clears throat> like they had like metal tools back then and if if they did they would have been like primitive kind of metal tools with really kind of low like metals with low melting points and stuff so it's definitely one i'm going to look into but like i say i thought i'd just make a wee video about it and I wonder if any of you have heard the story of Lou, the, the Celtic God of War, or, or the stories of the Brocks with the melted stone, the vitrified stone. If you have, just uh, leave a wee comment and let me know. Maybe you have more information about it than I do, kind of thing. But for me, it's definitely something I'm going to look into more. And obviously it's Scotland, so it's something I can actually go physically see. But uh, that's this one anyway. So remember, if, if you've heard about them or you have more information, eh, just leave a wee comment and eh, just let me know. But eh, that's that, so catch you in the next one.